In this video, we are going to integrate this. But before we do this, um, let's let's have a look at this one. So it's exactly the same, but here you've got one, here you've got x. So this one should be easy to integrate because you should notice that um, that uh, if, if you look at this bubble here, the derivative of the bubble will be will be uh, will be in the form of x. So this x will later cancel out with this x here. So it should be it should be easy to integrate because you can use substitution, u substitution. But this one here, you um, you haven't you, you haven't got the luxury of this x here, where where this is the exact derivative of this bubble. So um, so here you don't have the luxury of the x. Here you do. So this one should be easy to uh, to integrate. So so let this be u. So let u be this thing here. So dx equals this thing here. So when you put this into the dx, um, this x here will then cancel out with this here, uh, and so on. So it's so it's blah blah blah, uh, and then when you integrate it, it should be easy to integrate. So you should be able to um, to integrate it, and it will give you this. So now let's go back to uh, to the original. Let's let's try and let's try and integrate this. So here you don't have the luxury of this x here. So it, this here is just a one. So let's try and integrate this. So to integrate this, your eyes should zoom into this bit here. Create a triangle in such a way that this will be true. So, so if you make the opposite to be x and the adjacent to be 1, then the hypotenuse will have no choice but to be the square root of x squared plus 1. So, um, so now looking at the diagram, you can extract, looking at the diagram, you can extract this and you can also extract this. So let's start again. Looking at the diagram, uh, tan would be this. Tan, so tan theta would be opposite over adjacent. So that would be x. So differentiate this, that would then give you this. Uh, and then from the diagram, you can see that, well, you're, you're trying to, you're trying to extract, you're, you're trying to, um, you, you're trying to extract this x squared plus one. But don't forget this thing here, you can visualize it as x squared plus one uh, square root to the power of three. So you, you, this thing here is the same as this. So now you can see the square root is in here. Well, anyway, from the diagram, Secant would be would be uh, square root would be hypotenuse over adjacent, which would be one, and then uh, and then so this thing here equals this thing here. Um, but so 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 you're looking at this, you can break this up as one block multiply. So looking at this, you can break it up as one block multiplying this block. So now currently we're here. If you square both sides, that will then give you this. So don't forget this thing here is this thing here. So we so we can put this block into here, and then we can put this block into here. Or or, or another way of doing this is is to visualize this as being x squared plus one uh, square root, and then to the power of three. So you can now put this into here, and then this it's going to be this thing to the power of three. So it's going to be it's going to well. Put into there. It, it, this block here will, will be secant. This block here will be secant squared. So, uh, so these two will cancel each other out. That will then give you. That will then give you this. So one over secant would be cos. So now it should be easy to integrate. So integrate this will give you this. But the, the answer would be uh, sine theta. But we don't want the answer in terms of sine theta. So we would go back to the original diagram. Uh, the original diagram. We need to translate this um, this sine theta. So sine theta is this. So that would be opposite over hypotenuse. That would be opposite over hypotenuse. So this would be your final answer. Okay.